Welcome to Restructuring Democracy Weekly News Rundown, Episode 1. I'm going to go over all the relevant headlines of the entire week. I assume you haven't heard about all of these, so I have collected them. This is not a comprehensive one, as it's the first week, but in the future we will collect all the headlines. Besides for, like, random murders, because there are a lot of them in America. So, first story, first step is Hunter Biden has been indicted on gun charges. There's three federal indictments. It's a big deal. His father is getting bashed all over about how, you know, how his son, of course, because Biden has said in that famous video that his son has done nothing wrong, but nothing's actually going to happen. He's probably going to plead out somehow, but we don't know yet. There's been a flood in Libya, over 16,000 deaths so far, and the death toll, as you're watching this, may have even gone higher. The Morocco earthquake recently happened, and that had, I think, 2,000 deaths, or maybe now it's even more. So, lots of, um, lots of different, there's been hurricanes also in, in, in America and the United States. Many, many natural disasters have been happening around the world recently. The Eagles win against the Vikings. That's just interesting. That ha- interesting thing in American culture that happened. It was a close game till the end. Aaron Rodgers, now of the Jets, has surgery after he was injured after four plays, and it looks like he's going to be playing again. According to a Fox News poll, more think Trump has mental soundness than Biden. Biden's big issue within the Democratic and Republican Party and conservatives and everyone is that they don't think that he's fit to run for office. Whether or not you agree or disagree with his politics, it's the one thing all Americans can currently agree on, that Biden is too old. They want someone younger to step in. Some people say it's Kamala Harris. Some people think it's Gavin Newsom. 20% of the the Democratic Party thinks it's RFK Jr. We'll see as time goes on. Old people don't generally get better as time goes on. They usually get worse. So it's probably going to happen soon. The UAW, the United Auto Workers, they have strike. They striked. That means that no more cars are are being produced. At least in the U.S., Ford, Solantis, other companies, they're 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 not working. They want better pay. They want better hours. They want you know whatever strikers really want. Um, the only big problem is that most of this is probably going to be, be taken over by AI in the next five years. So the question is, will they just wait five years, you know, lose a little bit of money? These companies are worth hundreds of billions of dollars and then just replace everybody with AI. Time will tell. Kim Jong-un has visited Russia. That's interesting. He went on this famed uh, green, I think it's green, um, armored train that goes straight from 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 Korea to Russia, and that that happened. Um, that he he visited a he visited what's it called a airplane fighter 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 jet plant where they where they build fighter planes, and yeah, so that's interesting alliance that happened this week. Elon Musk has said this is not really such a, a reported thing. So I only saw this a few places. Elon Musk says that Taiwan is a part of China, and that's a very tet- a very very spicy subject to deal with and so Taiwan has has fought back and said that they cannot be bought they are not part of China they are their own separate country of course that's going to be the fight of the Chinese American war of 2025 in my opinion now arm has an IPO arm is a computer chip company they make they don't make computer chips themselves they create the diagrams in order for those computer chips to be they create like the theory behind them so like the different nodes the different um the, the different registers how they're shaped etc so basically computer the way computers work is that you have different um it's called it's, it's basically math so it's like a and or not and that basically dictates the flow of, it, flow of electricity and so the, the, the if you obviously if you do it really really bad then it uses a lot of electricity going through many 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 different gates right so if you if you boil it down to as few steps as possible, I'm going to use the least amount of electricity. It'll be faster because it'll be shorter. And so everyone has their own. So we all have always used x86. That's that's Intel. That's Microsoft. That's just what we've always used, right? It's called x86. Um, it's 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 a very comprehensive. So our you know Intel CPUs are very comprehensive CPUs that can do basically anything. But it's also it's it's very heavy, meaning it's it's very big. It has like every every possible bit comp- compilation it's it's very messy arm recently has been a big thing apple's apple C- cpus have, have been doing this 
um, with specifically with um, Apple CPUs, is they take they take the ARM architecture, and then they they work it into their own systems, and you know very good battery life, um, uh, and it's and it's very fast, for, for com comparatively because comparatively comparatively to energy usage, it is is very good battery life. So ARM has went had an IPO, and a lot of big companies are investing because small little tiny investors like me or you are not currently investing in the stock market at all because money is very very tight. So that's just a thing that happened, and that's pretty much actually really, I think, really pretty good an explanation of what ARM is. Now, Kamala Harris is, is touring American colleges. Uh, there was no any specific statement of why she's going, but it sounds like that I assume this is a sort of like a, a media tour just to try to get her name recognition into the younger vote that will be coming up, because if, from what it looks like, Joe Biden will have to drop out of the race sometime in the next year. So... Kamala Harris obviously wants to become the nomination for president, so then the nominee for president. So I guess she's going around trying to get her name up with at least with young young voters. And a bill that can let legal marijuana businesses get access to major financial and banking institutions is likely to have the votes to pass in the Senate. This means that mar till today and today and forward to if it, until this bill passes, if you sell legally marijuana in your business. You cannot get access to financial uh, financial banking services. That means that you can only accept cash. That means that you have to store it in a in a in a, in a vault. It means you, if the money goes to a bank, then it gets it can get seized by the federal authorities. So the 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 Senate is trying to pass a law that says that this would make it legal for them to put their money into banking. It would basically make it completely legal. Now, Spanish head coach who kissed a girl she has uh, on on right after the game. On, on the lips, he has quit. He's officially said, I can't handle it anymore. He's done. He, he said, I, this is too much for me. He's getting you know bullied by him at work, he, everything. Of course, the Sp Spain and uh, and Europe as a whole, this is, this is kind of a thing that everyone's done. It was a one second thing. Um, that's just a thing that happened. You can think about it however you want to think about it. Uh, yes. Now, COVID, RSV, and influenza are likely to impact the healthcare system, according to the CDC. COVID's been a big point of contention between the Republican and Democratic parties and throwing the Conservative Party, because why not? RSV has been a thing every year, it's a recurring thing, and influenza, and they call it the triple, the triple threat. Um, COVID, RSV, and influenza can technically, even if you're a Republican or Conservative and you hold that COVID, is not really such a bad thing, especially the current strains. Those three together can technically overwhelm the hospital system, which is a big fear, right? Hospital systems have limited supply of beds, limited limited everything, and even if COVID isn't so bad, but it only it only affects a certain amount of like the worst, the the most vulnerable population. But if we also have RSV bad cases and and bad influenza cases, put those three together into a hospital, it's still a bad thing. Though so getting a COVID shot, I will not tell you to do or not to do. That's for your own decision to make. And a prison escapee in Pennsylvania has been captured. I was going to say his name, but I cannot pronounce his name for the life of mine, so I won't. But he used to live in Brazil. He's wanted for murder in Brazil. And in America, he killed his girlfriend. And therefore, and then he was captured. Um, it was for two weeks. When he was on the run, he had gotten a gun. He had changed his appearance. He had gotten a car, a van. He was about to flee to Canada, apparently. So he's back in jail. He's in a, in like, I think in Phoenix. It's like Supermax or something. So it's a lot harder to escape from that. So that's a story that happened over the past two weeks. He almost escaped. He escaped multiple times, but now he's back in prison. Vladimir Zelensky is set to visit Biden in the USA. Um, they're going to talk about the Ukraine war, obviously. And three acquitted, three people have been acquitted in in the in the trial, in the final trial of the Michigan governor. Gretchen Whitmer kidnapping plot. It was a big story in the beginning. It was, oh no, they're, they're, they're threatening to catch. She's a Democrat. They're threatening to kidnap her. And it was a big thing. And then it turns out at the end, information started started coming out that this, the FBI was very, very intimately involved in this kidnapping case. And they had um, prompted almost, they were, every time they, they, put, put, they put pause on it, the, the FBI kind of pushed them along and kept on getting them to do it. So while the, the mastermind is in jail for 10 years and a few other have gotten jail sentences, a few of them have been acquitted. So it looks like three have been acquitted or it could be a total of five have been acquitted. I don't actually know the exact the number of, of acquittals that happened here, but this is because those, those two people were apparently extremely pushed by the FBI to go along with the plot. 
And AOC and other Democrats have been drowned out by screaming protesters at New York City Migrant Crisis News Conference. AOC obviously has been a point of contention in, in, in America and United States because she said many, many moons ago, that was, I think, two, three years ago, maybe even more, it was definitely when Donald Trump was saying, she went down to the border and said the border crisis is a massive thing. But now that New York City is, is has hundreds, 100,000 migrants and 10,000 more coming every month, and they're just piling up and and no one knows what to do with them and they're literally on the streets you know it's just causing chaos and they're taking over um, uh, new york's new york public schools because there's just so many kids twenty thousand kids and so everyone's yelling at them even even democrats are just very angry at aoc eric adams kathy hoko joe biden just what they want to know um mayorkas he's the he's the homeland security person i think Everyone, what what are you doing about all the all the migrants? That's the thing that's happened. So, right now, AOC is getting screamed at. It might actually be a good thing. She might actually hear and do um, something about this because it's from her own. Um, can't remember what it's called. Her own. Cons it's from her own people, it's in her in her jurisdiction. And Kevin McCarthy is fighting with Congress Republicans. But some Congress Republicans want to oust him as Speaker of the House. Um, but so that, that therefore that's why he said that he he's 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 doing the the Biden impeachment in inquiry. That's why some people are saying that's why he's doing Biden in the inquiry into Biden in order to appease them because they were angry that he wasn't doing anything, and so therefore he did it. Um, there's no other choice in Kevin McCarthy. There's no better answer to him, so he's probably going to stay. There's no reason why Republicans would want to oust him. Um, yeah, so probably at least half of there. So this is this week's news as I have written down. There's obviously more. I only started writing this two days ago. But in the future, I will be writing this every single day. And I'll probably have 100, 200, 300 um, different news pieces. So you'll have a complete overview of the week's news. That's it for this week. See you next week.